today I have kind of a roller coaster of uh, some science news. I started writing this news report when the last northern white rhino male in the world started getting a recurrent infection in his leg. But the story changed as I was writing the report, and it, it changed for the better, so I felt compelled to make sure that this was updated so you got the full picture. This male rhino, the last of his kind, is named Sudan. He's 45 years old, and despite around-the-clock care at his home in Johannesburg, South Africa, his body is mortal. Sudan suffered from an infection in his back right leg in 2017, and although that was once thought to be cured and gotten rid of, it seems to have recurred. Either that, or another infection has come in and spread from the same place, reaching deeper into his tissues and taking longer to heal. Either way, it was bad news, and Sudan's caretakers were concerned. The reservation that holds him released a statement, saying that the rhino is, quote, starting to show signs of ailing. His future is not looking bright, unquote. Sudan's caretakers, they don't want him to live in pain, but they also understand his value as the last breeding male of his kind. They discussed with reporters the possibility of euthanasia if, quote, we feel he is suffering too much and won't recover, unquote. Sudan currently lives with two female northern white rhinos, which are the last females of their kind. So this trio of rhinos, of these northern white rhinos, one male and two females, this is the last of them in the whole world. This is it. Now, I said that this was going to be a sad news episode. And, I mean, that's pretty sad that they're really on the knife's edge of extinction here. But, as I said, as I was researching and writing, this story developed, and it produced a bit of good news. It turns out that the secondary infection that was worrying Sedan's caretakers has been taken care of, and Sedan is actually coming along and healing quite nicely. Stefan Nagulu is a veterinarian at the conservation site, and about Sedan, he said, and I quote, He is an animal that is showing the will to live, unquote. As if to show his desire to keep living for as long as possible, Sudan is fighting back against his old age and his infections. He's been showing more mobility, and his appetite is returning. And these are all positive signs that his health is being restored. Now, this is good news, but it's still against this backdrop of sadness, as the northern white rhinos remain on the brink of extinction. Scientists actually plan to use the southern white rhinos as surrogates to birth more northern white rhinos in an attempt to save the species and bring back their population. Sperm that's been extracted from numerous northern white rhino males is stored in Berlin, and the idea is to use this stored sperm with eggs that have been harvested from these living females, and to fertilize these eggs in vitro so as to implant them into the surrogate southern white rhinos. Now, there are about 20,000 southern white rhinos in Africa today, which really is an amazing recovery from their bout with near extinction in the late 19th century, where their numbers were reduced to the double digits. In an ideal world, the northern white rhino wouldn't be going extinct at all. I mean, hell, in an ideal world, we wouldn't have climate change destroying half the biosphere. We wouldn't be experiencing the anthropogenic extinction event that we are today. I mean, in an ideal world, things would be a lot better. But considering reality, in the next best ideal world, the northern white rhino will experience a human-assisted recovery that is on the scale of the southern white rhino. And this will allow the northern white rhinos to repopulate central and eastern Africa. But like I said, this ideal has to confront reality. And reality includes threats like poaching and lack of funding, and the urban and agricultural and industrial development of, uh, of human cities and human civilization that encroaches on the habitats of these wild animals and their prey. These threats don't just endanger the northern white rhino, they also endanger other rhino species, like black rhinos and the extremely endangered Sumatran rhino. Hopefully, we'll be able to save this species and preserve them into the future so as to preserve as much of this planet's dwindling biodiversity as possible before it's too late.